a lot of the time uh, for the kinds of elements we work with like uranium when you try and describe their electronic structure you have to do it in a qualitative way and that's really frustrating and what we've managed to do is finally get to a quantitative description of the electronic structure of a series of uranium nitride molecules. The importance of being able to quantify the so-called electronic structure is because the electronic structure is what dictates how will they respond to reacting with something else, which means that we can predict behaviour of materials containing these elements to design chemistry, to exploit, to control these materials in the way we want. If I had a barrel of nuclear waste, I'd want to know if I added an extracting agent, would it just take out the highly radioactive element? And the only way to do that is to design extractants. And the only way to do that is to understand the nature of the bonding. My role in this work was trying to understand the fundamental properties of this molecule using theoretical techniques. Using optical spectroscopy, so optical absorption of, uh, or the absorption of light, uh, we've been able to directly identify uh, the spin orbit states of uranium. So these are the coupled L and S states of uranium. And we've found that there's quite a nifty handle in that experimental evidence that shows us exactly where those states come from. So hopefully it's going to give us some tools to move forward in, and study other uranium compounds. If two electrons go about in a pair, then they are not magnetic. But if you get them unpaired, one on its own, then it's magnetic. And that's very useful for us here because that means we can use all these magnetic-based measurement techniques here to study the properties of that, those molecules. With uranium, when you've got so many electrons and they're moving very fast, you have relativistic effects, which can't be ignored. And so to incorporate those in the electronic structure problem, uh, it's quite challenging computationally. Uh, and so it takes lots of different techniques uh, that we have to use to get the answers to the problem. Other groups also can, uh, use electron paramagnetic resonance to detect unpaired electron or characterize the uh, configuration, the geometry of particular actinide complexes or uranium complexes. But what we wanted to do is to also provide the method for uh, accurate uh, determination of all parameters which define the electronic structures. We've got the facilities to make a family of these molecules. We're not just talking about one, we're talking about over a dozen. That then means you've got enough systems to study so you can pull out real trends. That's hugely important. Secondly, we've got really advanced instrumentation like electron power magnetic resonance spectroscopy. We're very fortunate to have the National Service for that here at the university. We've got an instrument called a squid magnetometer. What that does is it measures the magnetism of our molecules. And then we've got really advanced computational systems here in the university as well. Thank you.